So in this, in this day of social media and, and people really trying to tell you how to quote unquote get rich, you see a lot of, a lot of people saying these are the, the dirty secrets that the really rich don't want you to know. What would you say if you saw something like that? I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but I have yet to find a rich person that wasn't very giving of their uh, skills, giving of their knowledge, giving of their, you know. The nice thing about being rich is, you know, you've done it, okay? You don't need to, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to hide my stuff, okay? Yeah. Uh, you don't need to prove yourself. I don't need to prove myself. I don't need to, you know, I might not give you, like, like my specific businesses, you know, uh, patent, yeah. you know. But once again, that's just a tool. Like you said, m m the book that was written 10 years ago still works. The, the, the tools that this business owner used still work. Yeah. You just have to actually do it. I mean, I will tell you that... 90 plus percent of the things that we talk about, okay, uh, I, I learned from somebody else, okay? And I didn't seek out the people that were broke. Okay? I didn't seek out the people that weren't successful. I, I sought out people that were wealthy, that w did have success and so on. And to this day, I've never had a single one not help me, okay? Now, depending on their time, you know, and, and, and maybe... Uh, where I was in life, you know, maybe they didn't give me, you know, a week's worth of their time, but none of them did I feel like were like, you know, guarding their, guarding secrets. their secrets. With what you just said, I know there's probably a lot of younger business people out there that want mentorship from a successful business person, but they're just afraid. What would you tell them? You know, we probably all have had um, somebody that we wanted to start a relationship with maybe that we were nervous about asking them or you know uh, th that kind of thing uh, i know i've scared to desk ask elizabeth out on the first date um uh, so I, I get that okay because what are we what are we scared about they might say no yeah. okay that's really about all we're talking about they could say no um so i, I would be uh, uh somewhat um coy you know um you know whoever it is um, if, if somebody, uh, maybe however you wanted to get a hold of them, if, if somebody uh, wanted to be successful like you and w wanted to ask you a few questions, okay, would you be open to that? So it's not, it's not you asking, it's, it's just somebody, okay? Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 think, I think for our, our own self-esteem, it's helpful to help us kind of wade into the waters, um, you know, uh, I would I would ask for something very non-threatening, very uh, non-committal, very uh, not taking a lot of time, and then if the door is open, okay, certainly. Uh, but I would be very deliberate. Uh, if you're going to wing it, if you're going to just um, do it just to so you say you talking to that person, don't do it. Okay. Well, one thing I've found out about successful people. They have very sensitive um, BS uh, intuition. Okay, they they, they don't want to be BS. They don't want to you know be waste their time. They don't. They didn't get to that level by just squandering time. The only thing they can't create more of is time. So whether you have a minute with them, whether you have a maybe they'll just answer your your direct message. Or you can have a cup of coffee with them. I would make sure that you were very deliberate with you know, their time.